Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. I'm up in Kirikiri at the moment, and today I've decided I'd like to try and catch a few fresh grey mullet. I'd like to get a couple for the table, and if I can, I'd like to get an extra one for bait. The easiest way that I know how to get a few grey mullet is by setting my net. So, first things first, I need to run the net nicely into the bin. First of all, I place the first float and the first anchor into the bottom of the bin. Then I start spreading the net, ensuring that there's no tangles and no debris in the net, and I place all of the lead line in the back of the bin and all of the float line into the front. I reckon this is the most important part of the process, so I like to spend quite a bit of time making sure that I've got this bit right. This ensures that I won't have any problems or tangles when I'm out in the water and the net will pretty much set itself. Today I'm setting the net two hours before high tide and I'm going to be pulling it out two hours after high tide. Now, I like to set the net 90 degrees to the shoreline starting from hard up in the shallows. My reason for this is because on calm days like today, mullet feed in the shallows, swimming back and forth parallel to the shoreline. Now, this is where spending a little bit of extra time running that net into the bin correctly pays dividends. If you've done it all right, you can pretty much just walk the bin out and the net will feed out of the bin and set correctly all by itself. Once I've run all of the net out of the bin, I deploy the second float and the second anchor. I step on the second anchor to make sure that it's set in securely. Now, as I walk out, I like to lift my float line every three or four steps, just because I'm a little bit fussy, and this ensures that the net is set absolutely perfectly. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that set, so I get myself dried off and I go and pop the kettle on. Nick minute, quabam! Time to do another check so I get my booties on and I grab my net bin and I head on down to the beach. Now my net bin's made out of half a mussel float that I salvaged off a beach after a storm. These make great net bins because they float and you can attach a rope to the end where there's a bit of a handle so it makes them pretty easy to drag across the mud or through the water. To get the mullet out of the net I hold the whole fish and the portion of net that he's stuck in over my net bin and I squeeze them through head first. Occasionally I'll break this system if the fish is very large, sometimes they come out backwards a little bit easier.
So far I've managed to catch a few very nice fish for the table. So while I've still got the net soaking out there behind me, I decide to whip the scales and fillets off these ones and get them prepared for dinner. I've decided I want crispy skinned pan fried mullet for dinner so I use the sharp edge of my knife to whip off all of the scales and I do this before I gut the fish. Now I do that before I gut the fish because it makes the fish maintain its shape making it a lot easier to remove all of the scales around the belly. I pop those mullet guts aside here because I'm going to grab these just after I finish for a couple of big fresh snapper baits later on. As far as filleting goes it's pretty much business as usual except for I've gutted the fish so that I can crunch down through these rib bones and keep that whole delicious juicy belly flap attached. And before you know it, bam bam bam, bam, there you have it, four fresh mullet fillets beautifully prepared for dinner and these of course are being kept with the other bits and pieces for some big fresh snapper baits later on it's two hours after high tide I've seen a couple more splashes in the net and it's time to pull it in so by collecting up the float line and the lead line at the same time I bundle the net up and put it straight back into the bin and drag it ashore once I get back on shore, I simply tip the net out on the grass and start running it back into the bin. Once again, removing any twists or debris that may have got caught in the net. I did manage to catch one more mullet in this set, which is perfect because I needed one for bait. So I whip him out and I pop the rest of the net carefully in the bin, leaving it ready to set for next time. <laughs> 